Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. Um, I'm going to try to make this short. Listen, everybody, uh, just some thoughts I've got here. It's, uh, you know, the, uh, the Lord told us what to do with witches and it wasn't uh well let's just say it was a final solution that they wanted to uh they wanted them stoned and uh, i'm not talking about medical marijuana if you know what i'm talking about same thing with uh satanists and sorcerers and uh, Sodom, ites, you know, same thing. And because the churches uh, tolerate this stuff, the Lord's going to let them, you know, uh, that's a thing. Remember, they always said, oh, all we want is tolerance. That's all. We just want tolerance. Well, when now that they're numbers are huge because the church didn't do its job uh, they're not going to show any tolerance to the true believers in christ and you know and god the father is going to let it happen because his his solution for these abominations was not a suggestion even though these churches say, well, you know, Jesus loves these people. He wants, he wants them to, to come to him. I don't think so. No, they're enemies. They're enemies of the Lord. Enemies. And because they tolerate, because the so-called church people tolerate this filth, God's going to let them suffer the consequences and you better believe the great majority of these churches goers these church goers are going to they're going to cave in and you know they're going to end up denying the lord to save their skin you know it, i never i i mean i kind of knew about um how far back Satanism really was. Uh, matter of fact, you, Genesis 6 tells you what happened with the, uh, the Canaanites and the giants and what have you. And the Lord said to exterminate them, but our ancestors, instead of doing what the Lord said, married them. But the Church of Satan was founded in 1966. They came out of the closet, so to speak. Now, I bought a book called Secrets of the Soil by Peter, Peter Tompkins and Christopher Bird. And this book was published, I think it was 89. Let me look it up. Yep, 1989. Some of the other books that these guys did um, the divining hand uh, the 500 year old mystery of dowsing uh, the magic of obelis magic right mysteries of the mexican pyramids really uh, those things were made for the devils for the worship of the devils i mean take a look at the mexican pyramids they've got serpents all over them um Secrets of the Great Pyramid. I mean, you know, this is the kind of stuff. Now, I was reading this book because I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to learn about soil microbiology and I'm going to learn about composting and what have you. But um, on page 36, well, I'm getting blind in my old age. On page 36, let me read something to you. 
the last paragraph. But despite their efforts for years, uh, BD, uh, that's somebody's name, initials, uh, for years, BD in America remained virtually an unknown as the Rosicrucian Ordo Templus Orientis, which is a Rosicrucian group, uh, let's see, to which Steiner belonged at the turn of the century, a spinoff of the Golden Dawn. Um, the Golden Dawn is a satanic group that makes the Church of Satan look like a bunch of Boy Scouts, okay? With whose warlock leaders such as McGregor, Mathers, and the fabulous Aleister Crawley, few dared to have themselves associated. Aleister Crawley uh, called himself the most wicked man that ever lived. He authored a bunch of books on magic and I think one book was called Sex Magic. I mean, this stuff, it's been, it was kind of hidden for a bunch of years, but in the 60s, it came out in the open. And the secrets of the soil, I mean, I, I was reading about it and they were talking about witches' covens and uh, magic, and I'm like, what the heck kind of a book is this? And then finally on page 37, uh, that's pretty much when I quit reading this book. I'm planning on burning it. But uh, this stuff, it's not, even in, it's not even hidden anymore. I mean, uh, it's, you know, these church people, and I've, I've said it before, they're going to be the enemies of the remnant. Uh, they, if they even have virtually any lukewarm faith at all, um, they're not going to believe what's going on. Now, what I suggest is those of you that have property and stuff, um, you got to understand something. They are going to force vaccinations down your throat. Um, I've been reading a lot of different reports. Um, vaccine manufacturers are exempt from lawsuits. Okay, and they're going to force them down your throat. They're not even, they're uh, Mr. Chump's uh, Operation Warp Speed. They're not going to do testing for safety. That's not the uh, idea. They're going to, they're going to, and he's going to deploy the military. And he bought, mil he wants to buy millions of doses. I mean, it's, People, I think it's going to be a, a death thing. Now, those of you that have property, just realize something. They're not going to let you keep it. I mean, these people are the actual children of the devils. I mean, no matter how much you give them, it's not enough. I mean, they want it all. And they want us dead one way or another and the united states is one of the last places on the face of the earth where uh people are even allowed to own uh firearms and that's you know that's the thing if it wasn't for that we'd all be dead already they're they're deathly afraid well not really but they're afraid of a revival and because they own all the media and the book publishers. I mean, you know, when you find out that the largest printer of Bibles in the English-speaking world is owned by a company that prints gay porn and, and the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan, which is also Fox News, by the way, same that's their parent company, the News Corp. I mean, you know, they own it all. And all these idiots uh, that go to church that won't even bother to read their Bible, um, they're going to be deceived. Well, they already are. But uh, trust me, 
when all these false prophecies come to pass, like the pre-trib rapture, they're going to turn against you. So my suggestion is, have a place to go. Have a plan B. Because that's what they did in uh, Ukraine, is they forced people off the land. Uh, and, you know, that's what, that's what they did after they killed the Tsar. And the Tsar and his family were, I don't know, they must have been disobedient to the Lord. Because there was a communist revolution in 1905, the Mensheviks. And that revolution was not successful. And the Mensheviks and Bolsheviks were kind of two sides of the same coin, sort of like the Democrats and the Republicans. Uh, not much difference between the four entities, if you ask me. But uh, their, the 1905 revolution failed. and uh, But the Bolshevik revolution in 1917 succeeded. But by 1919 and 1920s, uh, the massive starvation was in full swing. They forced people out of their homes in the middle of winter. Wouldn't let them take a coat. Just told them to hit the road at gunpoint. And, uh, you know, a lot of people just died of starvation and uh, and froze to death. I mean, these people have no sympathy whatsoever. And, you know, all these people are, all these churchgoers are thinking, well, God would never allow that to happen to us. I mean, I went to church every Sunday and, and I threw money in the collection plate like you're doing God a favor by going to a, a, a satanic coven that dares to call itself a church. I mean, you know, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know. Like Billy Graham, you know, I don't know. And, and Copeland and and Olstein and all these other and you better believe when the man of sin the beast the antichrist arrives the uh, son of perdition all these churches are going to proclaim that even Christ has come and and if you've and if you don't know that every eye is supposed to see Christ coming in the clouds with glory and they might fake that. They got something called Project Blue Beam, where they can use uh, holograms. And let me tell you something. Some of those holograms, uh, I was surprised at how real, real they look. I mean, here it is. They've got, and, and I don't know how they're doing it, but uh, you know that's probably twenty-year-old technology that they have. You know. What do they have today that they haven't showed us? So they might actually have a coming of the Messiah and glory and every virtually every eye sees it. I don't know. They might pull something like that. But personally, I think they're going to... Uh, I always was wondering, would they fake a coming of Christ or would they have a different Messiah? And I, I'm tending to lean towards a different messiah and have the churches claim ah you know we were fooled by that fake jesus guy you know but i don't know of course they might uh they might uh tell us that this messiah is the cosmic christ or some new age garbage i don't know all I know is the false messiah comes first. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a place to go when, if they force you out. And, uh, yeah, it's just unbelievable. I was on BitChute, and I'm posting comments with disgust. I call it disgust because I'm disgusted. Um... Uh, my comments show up, but I'm not getting any replies. So I'm thinking they're totally censoring it because 
I had several of my posts that were uh, removed. And then I was going to the official King James Bible online, and they had a discussion page, too, that I was posting to. But the uh, the fake, fake followers of Christ have just flooded it. So it's just, what a waste of time. Just totally a waste of time. So that's why I'm telling you, I'm, I'm getting offline and I'm going to start getting my ducks in a row. And oh, the, uh, the one that uh, offered me a, a place, I appreciate that very much. Um, you're near Johnson City. You know who you are. Thank you. Uh, might take it up one day. But you got to have a place to go when things get bad because, I mean, they're going to use the military, deploy the military to force people, probably at gunpoint, to take these vaccines. It's not going to be optional. And they're not going to do any safety testing because that's not the purpose of it. And uh, there was a guy named Eustace Mullins. And uh, somebody pointed this out. I've read his books back in the early 90s. Um, their intention is to wipe out a certain group of people and uh, of European descent. What can I tell you? So there might be different vaccines for different groups. Who knows? I don't know. So, all right. Well, that's, uh, you know, just... Uh, Bible says that when you're persecuted in one city, flee ye to another. But I don't, it's, it's there's not going to be any place in the cities for us. No way. It's just not going to happen. So make provisions, people. Think about the things that you need. If, uh, you know, think about it. All right. Well, Chaplain Bob signing off. Stay close to Christ. Things are going to get really interesting. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is Christ. Amen.